Hi guys, um, <clears throat> back again to do um, another video. Um, this is um, kind of my last video of um, the way my record collection is going to work. Um, I've decided to uh, try something new, um, so I will tell you about that later on. Um, but first up, some new new finds. Um, these will be the last kind of new finds um, for a while. Well, maybe. Um, but here we go. I found um, two copies of this in a charity shop today. Um, Time Traveller's Galaxis, uh, the Galactic Light Orchestra. Um, one seems to be UK press and one seems to be uh, German pressing. I have no idea what it's going to be like. I think it might be one of those kind of funky, classical, dancey things that they did a lot of in the 70s but it could be a fun listen um, this was a jazz album that I found on CD in a charity shop a while ago um, and really enjoyed so um, I had to get a copy of this um, this is Roland Kirk with We Free Kings um, fantastic album um, just really good um, and I think this is an original UK pressing on Mercury um, yeah really pleased to have this um, I've literally just opened this so uh, I've not had a chance to spin that version yet um, then uh, the stuff that Christoph sent um, Christoph this one I think was probably the most mixed bag there was some good stuff on it but there was some pretty dodgy stuff on this as well um, but yeah uh, I enjoyed this um, I didn't I didn't listen to them all in one night like I intended to um, just because of time restraints um, but yeah that was pretty cool um, the McDonald and Giles um, sound what I expected it to be like it was much more kind of upbeat and happy still progressive um, and I discovered with the cover that actually look we can have um, Jimi Hendrix in there as well this was the card he sent me so I, I thought that was quite cool um, but yeah I enjoyed this um, <clears throat> I think it'll take a few more listens um, which is a good thing normally um, but yeah, really stoked to have this, um, finally. Um, this one, uh, the first track on this, if I didn't know better, I would have said was Serge, Serge Gainsbourg. Um, it's just a complete, I don't want to say, maybe not a rip-off, an homage to Serge. Um, but yeah, this was there's some really great stuff on this. Um, was it? Uh, I can't remember whether it was this one or the Christoph album. I think it was maybe the Christoph one that had a it almost um, a kind of like it had been sampled, and there was a bit in it where it sounded like it was skipping. Um, but I think it it had been put in there deliberately, and it really th kind of threw me. Um, but maybe that was this album. I've, uh, I'm confused now. Um, but yeah, pleased to have that. And uh, finally, I think my favourite of all of them was uh, this one, um, which um, I kind of thought possibly would be, just on the strength of the cover. Um, it's kind of progressive um, and, and classical at the same time. Um, 
but yeah really love this this is definitely something that's going to get spun uh, quite frequently i think um this is a great album um so thank you uh, once again christoph for those um uh, the gener generosity of the VC is um, an amazing thing. Um, and then, obviously, the sad news um, that one of my musical heroes um, and probably my favourite artist um, of all time uh, died um, after... Um, a long battle with cancer um, and when um, when I heard this album was coming out I looked um, to see what it was being released as and there was the normal version of the vinyl which was this one or there was a limited edition edition kind of clear clear vinyl um, but it was like 60 60 quid or something 50 or 60 quid um, in some places were selling it for like seventy five, and I thought, no, I'm not, I'm not going to bother. Um, and ultimately, uh, since he's died, they've been going for like, you know, up to like five hundred pounds, which is just ludicrous. Even this version's been going for like fifty. Um, I think I've got mine for twenty five, which is plenty for a, a new release. Um, but yeah, really great and the videos and things and in hindsight listening to this um i actually bought it on the day um that the news was released that he had died i, I had it ordered um but I, I just hadn't been in to collect it so uh yeah i took it home that night and listened to it and listening to it knowing obviously what he knew um it was definitely a kind of uh, goodbye, um, and he obviously knew that. Um, so, uh, yeah, a great, great album. Um, and I think everything that he did in life um, was just uh, mind blowing, really. Um, Another one of my favourite artists that released something um, that <laughs> threw me quite a bit um, was Flaming Lips, and they released this, um, which was the Heady Nugs. Um, now, a few years ago for Record Store Day, they released a Heady Nugs bo box set um, that was basically their albums from... Um, in a priest, uh, what was it? I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. But basically, they're Warner Brothers stuff from uh, in a priest-driven ambulance um, to Cloud's Taste Metallic, um, then Sokol in Yashimi, um, uh, at War with the Mystics. I think that was it, maybe, um, and then. I heard this one was coming out, and I presumed it was the albums up until um, the other box sets. This is, this is the kind of the collection beforehand. Um, but bizarrely, it's actually the Flaming Lips, Heady Nugs, 20 years after Cloud's Taste Metallic, um, 1994 to 1997. Um, and it contains another copy of Cloud's Taste Metallic, um, like this it has um, an EP here called uh, Due to High Expectations The Flaming Lips Are Providing Needles for Your Balloons um, which is apparently a great um, yeah great recording um this one which is uh psychiatric explorations of the fetus with needles which is a live concert from seattle in 96 um that's like a double double record 
and then um, this one, the king, king bug laughs, um, which is uh, outtakes and rarities um, over that same kind of three year period. Um, <clears throat> including some covers here um, for David Bowie's Life on Mars and um, Rolf Harris's Sun Arise, which is an interesting one considering what was old Rolf he's been up to. Um, yeah, so I haven't had a chance to listen for any of that. Yeah, either. Um, but anyway, back to what I was saying about my record collection and how it's going to change this year. Um, kind of at New Year, I decided that um, I would try something um, which I have decided to call um, my Skynet project, um, for want of a better option. If you remember the Terminator films, um, Skynet became self-aware and started destroying everything. My record collection, from this point on, I'm going to try and make it self-funding. Um, so I've got a few things, quite well, that whole stash of records that I bought earlier in the year, I've got maybe two, three hundred good records upstairs that I haven't get, had the chance to get around to listening to or cleaning. Um, yeah, I still keep on buying other stuff. So I've decided I'm not going to buy any more records. Um, I'll still probably scour charity shops and things and pick up bits and pieces, but I can only buy things that my record collection has funded. So I have to sell um, so I'm going to try and post a lot more things on eBay, uh, sell things locally if I can to raise money. And I, the plus side of this is um, a lot of my records that I want to buy now have become more and more expensive and rarer. Um, so it's a kind of good way of making me maybe buy, sell five, six items, maybe ten items, so I can afford the one item that I really, really want. Um, because I've got tons of stuff here that I'm not that interested in, and certainly not interested in keeping. Um, and it's getting to the point where I've accumulated too much. So that is my plan, um, which leads me on to my last item, which is I would can pretty much guarantee is the most valuable record I have, um, which is going to be one of the things I sell to kind of give me a... Um, give my PayPal account a boost, which is uh, this album here, which is a classical album um, by David Oistrakh, who was basically regarded as the greatest violinist ever. Um, I think he's allegedly played on more Stradivarius guitars than, uh, guitars, uh, violins than anybody. Um, this is called Encores and it's basically solo violin um, oh sorry not solo worse violin plus a piano accompaniment um, and is on the beautiful Columbia now I've had this for years um, and I've seen like excellent plus excellent copies go for four figures like so I'm hoping this will start me with a I would hope around 500 quid um, which is crazy really considering I've just got it sat on my shelf um, so that will hopefully give me a boost um, and get me on my way so yeah so that's that's my plan for this year um, I hope everyone's doing fine it was great to see Rob doing a video um, recently um, and hi to James as well um, I enjoyed his last uh, jazz video that he did it was good um, yeah so yeah thanks to everyone thanks to um, everyone for watching and uh, take care